What? You thought there was gonna be like a cute intro with me saying like hello in a, in a different language? You're not gonna get that today, because it's Clash. There is no joy to be found in this episode. All, all there is is pain and suffering and a dead Soren. He can no longer be MVP. But it's okay, because he, he capped out, so I was gonna bench him soon. <laughs> yeah, it's Clash. It's Clash, and it's gonna be horrible. Well, look at that. Ike and Ronal finally have their bromance completed. It's such a fast support, I really love it. It's really good. So yeah, this is gonna be a pain. This is gonna be an absolute pain. How much bonus experience do we have? Do we wanna give it? <coughs> Hmm. My bad. Um, mm, why not? Uh, I mean, we're 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 kind of dedicated to the, at this point, right? Like this is this is the path. Oh my god, Brom, please! This is the path we're taking right now. I I know it's a weird one, but I have faith. <laughs> Magic and defense. You know what? <laughs> what else do you need? All right. So, do we have any skills to give away? We do have Guard and Gamble. We could give Guard to Ronolf, honestly. I think that probably worked. We could also give him Gamble if we want to, like, ensure he crits something. He does have uh, a support with Ike, which, and he has Heaven Affinity, which means he should get a lot of hit from that. Maybe with a Vague Coddy, he can pull up some funny Gamble strat. You know what? Let's try it. Like, I don't think it's going to work all that well, because Gamble sucks, but he'll have, like... 50 crit with the Vague Coddy, so with the Gamble, he will actually have a 100% crit chance. I don't know how good his hit rate will be, but it's worth a shot, right? And we also have a guard to give away. I don't know if anyone can really use that. I don't think so. Joffrey, maybe? I don't know if I'm even using Joffrey, to be honest. I don't think I am. God, if I could just put Resolve on someone else, that would be so sweet. Alright, well, I'll do basic preparations, and I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go! We don't have any money left for forges, but that's okay. Anyway, Linsha! Let's take a look at her, shall we? Oh, okay, she's uh, It seems like flyers can only get randomized into flyers. But let's take a look at her, she's a Wyvern Lord, okay. Those aren't terrible bases for a level 1 Wyvern Lord, to be honest. What does she have? She <laughs> She, she's soaring 2.0. <laughs> she's soaring 2.0. That's hilarious. D rank in Axis, A rank in Lances. That's pretty bad. But how are her growth rates? Let's take a look. Should be all the way down here. Now, where are they? Alinsha. There she is. Alright. 81% um, strength, 29% speed, 39% skill, 86% magic. I mean, if you actually level her up, I don't think her, her stats will be all that bad. She'll be Soren 2.0, essentially. I think she'll end up roughly around his... Because she Soren was not that fast. He had like 19 speed, but he capped pretty much every other stat. Which, with enough training, I think Alinsha's going to end up roughly around the same point that Soren was. She will require a lot of training to get, the, to get there. And it's annoying with Alinsha, because her dying causes a game over. But, I don't know. Well, we might as well use her for what she's worth. So, uh, let's see. I don't think a Polex and a Hammer is what we want on her. I think we want, probably, if she can get a la Forge Lance, that's good. Maybe a Silver Lance. She can get, uh, and then maybe a, uh, a Hand Axe. Yeah, I, I think that's, uh, she can get a Polex. Why not? I didn't know the, the weapon requirement for a Polex was so low. Anyway, let's take a look at this uh, map, shall we? It's Clash. It's not as bad, I think, as Clash on Maniac Mode. But the enemies are still pretty scary. Oh my god, there's a Wishblade Vibrant Lord. That's not good. I gotta be very careful of him. Let's take a look at the boss. Bertram is... Oh, is an Irvin. Yikes, that is... Um... Oof. Oof. That is a scary boss. Lagoos Guard, just to make things even worse. Not that I have that many Lagoos. Celerity and Dawn, okay. Earth Affinity, oh my god, this guy. Holy crap, this is a scary boss. This is such a scary boss. Oh my god, and there's a status staff guy right here. I'm, I'm actually kind of curious. I want you guys to check something for me. 
So I want to. I remember these paladins of maniac mode. These, they were incredibly difficult to deal with. This guy has a vague cody. I want you guys to go and compare the stats of the paladins from my maniac mode let's play, and I want you guys to tell me how do they measure up stat wise. I'm just gonna go through all the like a lot of the enemies here. How do these enemies actually measure up to maniac mode? Are they stronger? Are they weaker? If they're stronger, how much stronger are they? And if they're weaker, how much weaker are they? I know there's gonna be less units and less reinforcements because this is hard mode, but in terms of like the enemy strength, I am actually curious if these guys are stronger than their maniac mode counterparts. They seem at least to be on the same level. I don't remember. I remember my maniac mode enemies being very bulky in terms of hit points. Of course, you do have to factor in that a lot of these guys have skills. Some of these skills don't matter. Corrosion can be a bit annoying sometimes. Tempest can matter if you don't, like, Serenity doesn't really matter. Corrosion, Vantage, most of these skills don't matter at all. I think the only really scary skills in the game are Resolve and Wrath. And maybe Nihil... Yeah, Parity can be a bit annoying because it, like, negates your, um... It negates your support bonuses, which you do rely a lot on in the end game. I think they do at least. I think that's how it works. Anyway, let's uh, let's decide what kind of units we're gonna bring with us. Uh, we're not gonna bring Bastion. Joffrey, I do want to bring. Khalil, not Jill. Stefan, definitely we want to bring. Devdon as well, and probably Tanith. Yeah, Tanith's pretty good. We could bring. How is Titania right now at this point? Not that great. I think we can probably bench her. I think Devdon has better stats than her. Uh, we have equipped most of these guys, but um, I've decided I'm not gonna use two Herons anymore. It's it it's fun. But it breaks the game. Like, if I want to, I can get infinite turns, and it just remo removes any challenge of the game. This game isn't based around having two herons. Uh, so I guess what we can do then is we can... I guess we can bring Titania then, if we if we want to do that. Yeah, why not? Actually, you know what? Let's bring Janoff. I think, actually, Janoff... Janoff has decent base... Nah, not decent bases, but we have so many Lagoo Stones. Like, it's crazy how many Lagoo Stones we have. So why don't we give him one? There we go, Tanith, she, she's got good magic, so we, sh we can give her the, uh, the bolt- Can she use the bolt axe? Yes, she can. That's good. We'll give her a, uh, short axe as well. And a vulnerary. Anyone else who needs equipment? I think Stefan has what he needs. So for this map, I'm going to send, uh, I'm going to try and rush the boss as quickly as possible, obviously, but I, I think I'm gonna send Stefan up to deal with the paladins. I can give him a, uh, maybe I'll just give him a spare. Yeah, I think I'll just—I don't know why he's carrying a, a, an iron lance. That's probably pretty useless. I'll give him a—I'll give him a spare. I'll give him two spares, actually. And I'll also give him a—do I have any more pure waters left? I think he could probably use a pure water. I don't think Mordecai needs a pure water. And then I'm going to send uh, Marim because this to the left here is the scariest squad. There's a lot of scary guys over here, so I'm going to send Marim that way. I'm going to—I'm going to hammer the, and I'm going to make sure that. Um, I'm gonna use up my Hammerns, because I don't want to hammer my Hammerns anymore, it's just too silly. I'm going to have Braum deal with some of these warriors. Uh, Janoff, I'm probably just gonna let him... Wait, Janoff's transformation gauge is almost instant, I just realized, so he doesn't really need the Lagoo Stone. I'm going to send Ike, Seahark, and Ronolf. I'm going to send them up into the middle. I'm going to warp probably Maram over here, so that he can hold up this guy. And I'm gonna send Ike and Ronolf and Maram like over here to try and deal with the boss. At least that's what I want to do. We'll see if it works or not. Uh, if I want to do that though, I need to make sure that uh, CR has plenty of ranged weapons. Because I think we're running a little... I can't... Can he use the Bolt Axe? How's his magic? Nah, it's awful. Let's, um, let's actually make sure he has... Eh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this. I'm sorry, Tanith, but... You can use that bolt axe so much better. All right, let's go. Let's see how this goes. Time for clash. I'm gonna try to clear it as quickly as possible because the more the more time you spend with clash, the worse it's gonna get. You just don't want to deal with it. All right, there we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send uh, who has the hammer? That's probably Iliana. I'm gonna hammer this forge right now. And I'm gonna break my Hammer and Staff intentionally, because having two Hammer and Staffs essentially means you have unlimited resources, which... You know, I prefer to get a little bit of a challenge out of my Fire Emblem. Maybe some people think you should just use whatever advantage you get. That was also a really good level up. Um, but I, I prefer to at least play Fire Emblem with a semblance of rules. So, 
I'm gonna send uh, Marim all the way over here. Yoink. And we're going to see if we can... Oh, I just can't reach the bishop. That's kind of sad, but... Eh. It's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get him. So I'm just gonna hold these guys up here for as long as possible. We'll see if he can deal with the Wishblade guy. And I'm going to send Stefan over here, although I'm kind of... I'm, I kind of want to, like, smite him, if at all possible. Oh, I can't. He's too fat. That's a bit annoying. But... What if I send him over here, and I pop a pure water, and I dance for him on the first turn? I could super bird on the first turn, which would be kind of nice, but I don't think it's really that important. So let's try it. I'm going to. I don't want the. I don't want to fight the warriors with Stefan. I'm, I might have to fight some of them, which is completely fine. But I'm gonna send him up with a spare, and we'll see. Ah. Uh, don't really want him to be in range of any of these guys. At all. So, I'll have to be in range of a few of them. What's his defense? His defense is 18. These guys do how much? 31, okay. Uh, he'll take some damage. He'll take some damage. Maybe he'll die. I don't know. His avoidance should be pretty good, though. Okay. So now, I'm going to... Brom, I think, can maybe fight these guys. They'll... He'll get double, though. That's the problem. So, I, I don't think it's really safe. But Ronolf should be able to deal with the Sword Masters, or the Warriors, pretty well. So I'll use the Silver Sword. Again, I'm gonna pop Pure Waters on everyone here. And, uh, yeah, I guess Alinsha can still work as a really good rescue bot with her Solarity, so I guess that's pretty cool. So, uh, Ike, again, I wanna kinda keep him out of range of the Warriors, because... Eh, maybe one of these guys have a bow? No, they don't. I wanna keep Ike out of range of the Warriors, if at all possible. And Seahark, I want to go... Seahark and Marim support, so maybe I should send Seahark after Marim. I think Marim, once he's done... Once he's done mopping up all the enemies in the left-hand flank, maybe he can go up and deal with the boss, I don't know. And everyone else, I think I'll honestly just keep in the back. Un until I've cleared out some of the initial enemies, because they're just gonna get in the way. I don't really want them to get in the way. I'll keep Janoff around here. Do we wanna... do we wanna bird with Joffrey? We can try, I guess. He's got decent stats. They're not great, but they're okay. He's very tanky, so he should be able to get something done here. I don't think I wanna reinforce. Not yet. Green units tend to be mostly annoying in Clash. Uh, I, might, I might call on them at some point, but I think they'll just get in the way in my early turns. I want to clear this quickly, and the green units might just slow me down, so... I'm gonna opt not to reinforce. Alright, one of the warriors went for Ike anyway. That's okay. Alright, so here we go, Marim. Is that the Wishlands guy? I'm not entirely sure if that's the Wishlands guy. It might be the Wish... No, that's the Wishlands guy, I think. Oh, he missed. So that's good. So the Wishlands gives, what, three defense? I actually forgot. Anyway, let's see what Marim gets. He's almost capped now. Hit points, magic, and resistance. Lovely. That's, uh, that's gorgeous. Mm -mm. Alright, one of the warriors goes for Stefan. Ow! Okay, that hurts. Okay, that actually hurts a lot. Okay, well, he killed him, so that's good. Did I put an elixir on Stefan? I actually don't remember. But I think he'll do nicely holding up the paladins. Hit points, strength, magic, luck. Alright. I guess that works. Wait, the paladins aren't going for him? Oh, they don't they don't think they have the range. There we go. Oof, okay. Alright, I thought he'd be a lot more tanky than this, but I guess I was mistaken. Maybe he Maybe I have to rescue him now. I actually don't know. Oh no, an assassin! <laughs> Alright guys. It's okay. We got this. Yeah, and of course, some of these guys got ranged weapons, which is a bit annoying. We'll see how that goes. Oh, wow, they really like... Oh, my God. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I think he might be a little bit in over his head here. Honestly, I should have super birded on the first turn. Would have made this turn so much better. But as long as I can keep everyone out of range... I mean, honestly, even if Stefan dies, it's not the worst... I know it sounds a bit weird, but I don't actually think it's that big a deal if he dies. Oh, what's this? Oh, right, Siege Tomes. Yeah, that's right. 
Luckily, Toronio is like a Siege Tome Magnet, so that actually works pretty well. Okay. <laughs> wow. The Tigers actually do damage to Mirai. That's nice to see. So he won't be able to kill... Even a, like, capped strength forged... Forged Tandex Mirai won't be able to kill these guys in one shot, but... He'll... Ah, unless he crits. You know, if he got in Wrath range, that, that would actually be really kick-ass. That would actually really be kick-ass. I would love that. Doesn't seem like he really needs it, though. This is, like, one of the most expensive forges I have. I think it costs, like, 11,000. It's like a hand axe with max crit damage and might. So it's pretty good, as you can see. It's pretty darn good. Who knows? What if Marim dies? If was some... Actually, no, I was thinking if any of these have flame lances, he might, but no. He has insane resistance as well, and pure water. I think his resistance is actually higher than his defense right now. Alright, well, you're dead. I wonder if enemies can randomize with mastery skills. I don't think they can. I haven't seen, like, Deadeye on a single sniper or anything like that. That does sound pretty broken, if Halberdiers could come with Luna and shit. Alright, well, clearing out the trash, boys! And what will this guy do? Heal at close range with Physic, my favorite kind of bishop. Alright, so he'll... <laughs> no doubt. This unit is no. <laughs> Probably should have benched him too. <laughs> Alright, level 18 now, I think? Hit points and rest. I think he's capped every other stat. He's, about... he's gonna cap hit points too, I think. And was this another Siege Tome? Yeah, it looks like it. But that's okay. Alright, so I think Stefan might die next turn, if I'm being completely honest. I don't really see him getting out of this. Maybe he will. I don't know. But hey, we killed everything here. Or almost everything. Okay, so, uh... Those guys are dealt with. <laughs> okay, so, I think what we want to do now, okay, so, we, we don't want these guys to run into our main squad. That would be bad. So, I think... We probably want to Physic him up at some point. I think, can Ileana reach with her Physic? I don't know if she can. I hope she can. Uh, no. She cannot. Maybe Lucia? What's her magic? 14. That's actually not good either. Um, hmm. What, what is her range right now? It should be like 7, right? 1, 2, okay. So, how close do we have to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have to be here, which shouldn't be that hard. Uh, we can't shove mounted units, so I'll have to dance. But that's not the end of the world, I think. What if I do a fortify first to make sure everyone's topped up? So I can move in here, but I have to be careful. I have to make sure I kill these guys if I do that, because these guys are fast. These guys are very fast. I guess I can try and do this with Bulk, see if it works. Oh, wow, good job! Holy crap, now he's an assassin all of a sudden, what the hell? There we go. And I think I'll just, I'll kill the Wishblade guy. If I kill the Wishblade guy, I think it's possible for, uh... God, if only I got that Wishblade. I think it's it would, it's possible for Moran to go and join up at Sea Arc, and then they can try and take out the boss, maybe? So, I'll do that. I'll move over here. They're not in support range quite yet, so I gotta I gotta watch myself a little bit. What do we do over here? That's the big question. Uh, I think I'll send Ike over here. Shoot down. Ooh, Braybo maybe. That Braybo should kill. He cannot like potentially shoot eight times here <laughs> if he procs adept enough times. I do want to do something about those sages though, and I do need Ike up here at some point. Uh, okay, so let's check out the gamble of Aikati. Oh my god, it's it's really good. Holy crap. 100 crit. Okay. Gamble Ronolf is actually legit, boys. Gamble Ronolf with Vaikati is actually a pretty freaking legit strategy. Who would have thought? Wow. Damn, it actually works. Ha! Huh. It actually works. Okay, so we have to do something here. So I think what we'll do, again, as I said, we'll do this. We'll fortify. Kind of want a super bird, but eh, I'd rather make sure Stefan doesn't die. I kind of rely on him right now. So I'll do this. 
and I'll dance with, with Bulky. Hiya hiya bird song. And then we'll uh, go and heal. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Should be able to heal from here. Definitely can. Can even top him off. How nice. Whoop. And then we get the hell out of here so those paladins can't kill us. I think, yeah, my two bird lagoos, I'll probably just back off them as well. They're they're just going to be sitting ducks right there. Um, yeah, I mean, just follow me up here, I guess. That's all I can say, really. Just follow me up here and I'll try not to die. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Probably bad things will happen. I think Devdon. Yeah, look at, look at here. Devdon can get a kill. What a good unit. Some of the paladins will probably go for Ronald and Ike, but that's okay. Hit points, strength, and skill. Okay. Is that his first level up? It might be. Okay, let's, uh, Elinsha, honestly, just... No, I'll, I want to keep her close, but not too close, you know? Anyway, we'll start moving this way now, I think. And yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I, I, I popped a stone on Joffrey. Really, really important stuff, you know? Actually, um, kind of feel like I should do something about this guy. I do have the Sonic Sword. Ah. Hmm. What if I, uh, I'll try Hit Run with Gatry. I feel like this guy should die, you know? But let's try not to get Weapon Triangle, at the very least. What does this guy have? What kind of skill does this guy have? Let's see, what does he have? He has parity, okay. Oh no, no support bonuses for me. Whatever shall I do? Tanit's still pretty good. I don't know why I haven't fielded her more. I guess it's just because I'm bad at Fire Emblem. Alright, so I guess we could try the Sonic Sword next. Yes, that's a kill. Very good. You see, this is the good combo. This is why people train me- Ah! This is why people train Mist, Mist and Path of Radiance, you know, just, just Sonic Sword strats. And I just got a unit for free that can use it at base. Okay, uh, do we want to just fortify everyone up? Uh, do we have a fortify? I think I can borrow one. Let's, call a, let's fortify staff rank. Is that A rank? Yeah, so it's going to have to be Toronio, but you know what? Keeping everyone on full health, I think that's okay. Let's just get everyone up. Perfect. Is he capped yet? Yeah, he's capped. He's capped, all right. Ooh, one of the paladins might go for Joffrey unless we pick him up. So let's uh, get him out of here. There we go. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, Janaf, you need you need to get out of there too. You can go watch over Bulky. Oh, okay. This guy goes for Searc. That's okay. Hmm. Huh. He's not. He's no Marim, but. He could be. He has potential to be. But they have an A support, I think, Marim and Searc. So they should be pretty good together. Oh, no! It broke. All right. Will Stefan, Ripperino, and Pepperino. Let's find out. Ooh. All right. Doing pretty good job there. Doing pretty good work there. Uh, he weapon triangles most of these because they have lances. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, he weapon they have swords, I mean. Because he has a lance, is what I meant to say. But yeah, he's holding up this, this squad pretty well. This squad gave me such a headache back in Maniac mode, because I didn't really know how to deal with them. They were so incredibly tanky. I think I used Joffrey? I think I used Joffrey. Alright, they should not be going anywhere. I am worried that the Siege Tomes will go after him, though. Hopefully the Siege Tomes will go... Oh, nice. They'll go after Toronio instead. Man, what a good okay unit this is. Is this the guy with the hammer? I don't remember, but I hope not. I think I might kill him now, though. Ah, I might need- I need a Luna. Ah. Didn't double. Sad times. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Searc is mortal, unlike uh, Marim, so I gotta be careful. Oh, what's this? Okay, now great. They're still going for Toronio. That's- that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Please keep- keep that up. Keep that up. Yeah, once I get them within support range of each other, it should be a little bit better, but I would prefer if they went for Marim rather than Searc, but I think they will go for Searc. 
should I kill that guy? I feel like that guy could be annoying. He could start healing the boss at some point, which would be really annoying. Oh, okay. All right. I can oh, cool. I can kill the sage. I can kill him with uh, Stefan. How nice of him to place himself in my range. All right. So I think what I want to do now is uh, get Ronald. I think I'm gonna just gonna start warping, honestly. Yeah. Let's go. Let's have some fun. Okay, what do we have here? We have. It might be better to. Uh, you know what? No. Let's 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 get this map over with. The longer you stick around with Clash, the worse it gets. Let's have some fun. And uh, I guess Ike can follow suit. I can pick Ike up with Tanith and then drop him off with Gatry. You know what? I think I will do that. Let's do it. I don't know if this helped at all. <laughs> Probably didn't. I may have allowed him to move a little faster. I don't know. But I feel like we should try and kill this guy. Should, should we do some shove strats? Might not be such a bad idea. Should we... Eh, let's do some shove strats. Why not? Oh, no. Wrong shove... That was definitely not the shove strats I was looking for, but... Uh, yeah, this, the Sonic Surge does beautiful damage here. Uh, I can try and shove Oki, I guess. Or maybe I just want a Super Bird? I actually don't know. Why not? Let's keep him, let's keep him topped off. I really want to kill that Sage, but I don't know if there's any way I can safely do that right now. Uh, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I can rescue. Oh, yes. Rescue strats. That's a thing I can do. But do I want to do that? I can do it next turn. I can do it next turn. All right, so ooh, we, do, we do gotta remember to heal. Uh, do I have a Physic on Kalil? No, but I can borrow one. But can I reach? That's the big question. All right, so this guy obviously needs to die. Can I kill him? Oof, I cannot. That's actually a little bit unfortunate. But maybe with a short axe, once we're, oh. Maybe I should just go up here and uh, pop a Lunarary instead. Might be better. I can put him into heal mode, I guess. That's a thing I can do. Yeah, I'll put him into heal mode. And then I'll keep these two guys next to each other. Because now he shouldn't attack me. He should run back for healing. I'll put Maram here. Yeah, as far as Oki goes, honestly... Yeah, let's just chant for you. I don't know if there's a way I can kill the Sage this turn, but it, it doesn't really matter. I think we're fine other, uh, anyway. So we'll put Braum up here. I'm gonna keep those Paladins on notice, but I, I don't think any of them will be able to reach me. Their, their, their range is insane, though. I can't believe Stefan didn't take any damage. That's quite impressive. Can I kill this guy now? I will... No, I probably won't kill him, but I can do damage to him. Or... You know, that could... <laughs> that could also happen. <laughs> Man, what a good unit. Hit points, magic, skill, speed, defense. That's that's lovely. Amazing. Good job. What a, what a unit. Alright, let's move over here. I uh, do want to be careful with Alinsha. You know, she could easily die, and I don't like that. And that would cause a game over, which would be really annoying. Well, I say we just uh, rush up here now. We'll keep her in the back. I want to monitor the range of these guys just to be... Yeah, see? See? Scary stuff right here. Scary stuff. This is still... Oh, no! What are you doing, Ileana? I didn't want you to do that. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Can I... Okay, if I use Vague Cotty here... Gamble strats. Does it work when I'm not... Oh, my God. It's... Ah, 50. No, I need Ike here. I need... Uh, I need Ike. If I want to do the vague Cotty Gamble strats. But, uh, I mean, still seems to work pretty well. Takes four damage from a general, so I think this should be fine. Ronald's pretty goddamn strong. Alright, are we done? I think we're done. Uh oh. Oh no, not Braum. Ow! Okay, didn't get double though. That's good at least. And yeah, now these guys are supporting each other, so... Yeah, now they're pretty damn good together. I don't know how good a fire, dark, a support is. I think it's decent, isn't it? Like, uh, fire is pretty good. 
Dark gives a Void and I think some crit, so... Should complement Cyrix's already high crit rates. Alright, let's see if these, these guys still don't can't really pick down Stefan. I'm still kind of worried about that warrior. I think he might have a hammer, but I'm not entirely sure. I think he might have a hammer. I seem to recall one of these warriors having a hammer, and I can't remember if that's the one I killed or the one that got away. So let's see. Ah, now they're hitting him, though. I blame Biorhythm, honestly. It's always the Biorhythm. If you can't think of anything else, it's the Biorhythm's fault. Oh, that guy's running away. Okay. Alright, you can stop now. If that warrior actually has a hammer, I think he might be able to kill Stefan now. I know it's only double effectiveness, but it's still pretty scary. Oh, that's the Brave Sword uh, Swordmaster, but that was a Brave Sword Swordmaster. <laughs> Alright, level up for Ronald. Will, will he get more speed, maybe? Yeah, everything but speed. Magic isn't bad. Makes his rune sword better, I guess. Oh, hi there, assassin. Assassin! <laughs> A counter. <laughs> he countered him for one damage. The Titania experience. Will he die? Nope. Not yet. I think he might be fine now, guys. I don't know if he doubles this guy. No, he doesn't. Oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, good job, Braum. Man, Braum is really becoming the main character now. Look, he's killing things. It's great. I love it. Oh my god, he's getting strength. That's that. That's very good. They still get doubled by everything, but... Ooh, that's a brave sword. That's a brave, brave sword, sword master. It's going... Oh no, don't you dare. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, that was way too close. That was way <laughs> too close. Whew. Oh my god. Jesus. That was not... That was... I can't lose Braum. Braum is like the one character I just cannot lose. He's too important. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, he's gonna try to sleep him. Oh, uh, that's good, good. I had a pure water on him. I don't know what the hit rates are. Those stats. That that sniper just didn't want to live anymore. Holy shit. That sniper was like, yeah, I don't even I'm not even gonna attack this guy. Man, Ronald is cleaning house. Oh, that's another brave sort. Will I kill him? No. Alright, so ooh, I I really wish I had a super bird with my main squad right now. I could have brought everyone up and helped Ronolf out. I think we'll be good. So I know that once you near the castle, there's going to be a bunch of reinforcements coming from the north of the castle. This is why you want to clear qu clash as quickly as you can, preferably. Or I think there's some reinforcements on this map. I think some of them are zone-based. I think some of them are turn-based. I don't actually remember. Yeah, they're... <laughs> it's so funny when, when enemies randomize into the goose. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's make sure Braum doesn't die, because he's the main character. Huh, how are we gonna do this? So, bunch of ranged guys here. Is this where we just switch over to our rune sword, maybe? Maybe that wouldn't be so bad, you know? Can we kill any of these guys with the rune sword? We can't really. I mean, we might crit. It's worth a shot. Yeah, you know, that can happen. Do we want to just warp someone in? We could warp Ike in and just murder one of these. Most of these guys have ranged weapons, or... This guy. We could warp Ike in, honestly. Let's do it. We have so many warp staves, it's insane. Wait, did I rescue Toronio? I did. Oh my god, I'm a moron. Yeah, I'm a moron. Alright, Ike, looks like you're gonna have to walk. You know, it happens. What can you do? Alright, these. I don't like the Swordmaster, so I, I think I'm gonna just run away from him. Uh, if I can reach Seahark with a Physics Staff, that'd be nice, I think. But we'll see. I think I'm going to use Marim to deal with this guy. Can he kill? Uh, not quite, I'm afraid. I'll just do damage to him. Oh, or I could do that. That also works. I guess I'm leaving the bishop. Yeah, I'm leaving the bishop. Fuck this. <laughs> Alright, I think we can probably... Well, Devdom will die. Uh, Braum, we gotta be careful about. 
think I will just mend him. I'll almost get him up to full. Not quite, though. But yeah, it's a bit annoying that I picked up Toronio by accident. Not a big fan of that. Yeah, I want to keep Elinsha far in the back for now. But yeah, if we use Ileana, maybe she'll have... I can f just fortify, I guess. What if I fortify from here? I think I actually should be able to reach the arc with this. So let's do it. There we go. I don't think it will top off Braum, but should at least make him not close to death anymore. Did it hit Searc? Yes, it did. Sweet. All right. Can I kill this guy? Not quite. I need to weaken him a little bit first. But that's why we have bad units like Joffrey. Oh, actually, I could have used Mia. Oh, well. I guess we're not super birding then. Wait, how's Stefan doing right now? Is he okay? Uh, and yes, this guy did indeed have a hammer. It's just as I suspected. And he would have killed me. So that's uh, good to know. Oh, do we... Uh, I think I'd rather want to distance myself a little bit from these guys. Oh, do the spare have better hit? It does indeed. Let's get rid of this guy. Yeah, I think once the animation procs, that means the attack hits. I don't think... Can Luna miss? I don't know if it rolls hit first and then checks for animation. Hit points, strength, magic. Wow, what? Holy crap. Who thought Stefan could be this good? Alright, let's uh, get... Oh, is that a... I think that's a kill, right? Well, it is now. <laughs> Alright, Sage is dealt with. Let's see if we can give Braum a kill as well. He is still pretty underleveled compared to the rest of our squad, so it can't hurt, right? Let's see... Yes! That works! Oh! Yeah, that's right! He has Ether. I forgot about that. I forgot I gave him a freaking Occult Scroll. His skill is actually ridiculously high, so that means he will proc Ether. Not a lot, but he'll proc it a decent amount, at least. Alright, I'm gonna just Sonic Sword this guy. Bye. Whee! So some of these guys will definitely go for Ike. That's okay, I think. There's a guy with the... Actually, there's only one guy with the bow, so as long as I stay out of range of him, I should be fine. Let's just check out their range, shall we? There we go. Liliana's in range right now, but that's okay. We'll just do this. And Janoff, um... Yes, you're, you're doing things as well. And I'm definitely using my dancer well here. <laughs> 10 out of 10 dancer use. Okay, let's uh, move Joffrey up here and let's end the turn. I think I should be able to attack the boss next turn. He's gonna be a nightmare. Ow, what the hell? Okay, I gotta heal Stefan now, Jesus. Does that guy have an armor slayer or something? I think that guy might have an armor slayer. Oh, you're gonna die. That, probably, there we go. Yeah, that knives don't get weapon triangle against Axis, I'm pretty sure, so. Knives are pretty shit against Axis. What's going on here? He's gonna try to sleep Ike, I think. Uh, and it worked! Okay. I have a restore staff. It's not the end of the world, but it is annoying. It is quite annoying. Oh, don't kill my Eliana. It's okay. She's... Oh, she's dodgy, but she's slow. Oh, don't kill her, please. Ah, no, 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 my god, no, my Ileana. Stop it, 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 no, stop it, stop it, yes, fuck, ah, never punished, Jesus Christ, that was scary, oh, is he gonna die? Oh, my god, oh, my god, oh, my god, this is insane, oh, my god. The Clash Gods have blessed this LP, man. The Clash Gods have blessed this LP. Oh, that's right, the Sonic Sword is effective against flying units. I forgot about that. That's actually pretty nice. Oh my god. Yeah, here they are, these guys. I'm Ember. Oh, is it Superbird time? I think it's Superbird time, guys. Ooh, I don't want to stay here any longer than I have. I'm going straight for the boss. So I'm putting Seahark here. With a short axe, what do these guys have? Short spare steel. I can try, I guess, and like take down as many bow users as I can. Oh wow, you don't double? What the hell? Okay. 
That's, uh, very interesting. Alright. Oh my god, he crits me. I think I might have to, uh... Ah, what the hell, man. Okay, I think I have to ensure that we, we, we have to take care of these guys first. I think that's actually more important right now. Oh my god. Yeah, that boss is... I think maybe Ronolf would be good against him, but only if I have Ike backing him up. Okay, get rid of this guy, please. I got so many vague Cotties. I think I'm even gonna get... I think I even got another one this chapter, didn't I? Alright, let's restore Ike. I do have uh, a restore on Kalil, so let's just get out, out of the way right away. We have to kill all the Paladins, that's important, but they should be weakened now, so it shouldn't be that hard. So we can send uh, Ike around here to get rid of this guy. Honestly, Steel Bow works just fine here. No sense in using an expensive forge when we don't have to. It's not like I have infinite money anymore. I used to have that. Oh, oh, now Ike's in Resolve range. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Hit points, speed, all right. Yep, he's in Resolve. Oh, plus 15 skill, baby. Okay, so now we probably should make sure we uh, we use Super Bird here. This guy should be... Ah, uh, they're actually pretty scary still. Wow, what happened to you, Mia? You used to be so good. You used to be so good, what happened? Alright, can we kill with Rom, though? Yes, we can. Oh, that's right! Oh! I'm so happy I gave him the Occult Scroll. It's the best thing I ever did. Yeah, no, this should be quite easy. Gatry is not going to be able to kill this guy, but that's okay. Oh, wait, maybe I can uh, set up a good super bird here. Hit point... Yeah, okay. It's okay. Uh, let's see, super bird is here. Okay, I can super bird here if I want. It's not the best super bird, but it, it's a super bird, you know? I'm not going to complain about that. Uh... Yeah, Tanith not as good with the Bolt Axe as I thought she was, but it still works, you know. Alright, so I'll put you here. Uh, Ilya, I definitely need to heal this turn. I definitely need to heal this turn, so I'm, I'm gonna bring Ileana in on this. Someone needs to heal her, though. Probably Toronio gonna do that. Oh, actually, Stefani. Is Stefani in danger? I actually can't remember. Hit points and resistance. I think she's in danger. Or, yeah, I think he's in danger, but I don't remember. Alright, uh, Joffrey can help out here, I guess. Why not? Hey, Devdon might be able to get that kill now, so. Yeah, would you look at that? Sweet. Devdon's still useful. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send Alinsha. Sorry, Lucia. <laughs> to be fair, it's easy to get them mixed up. And I'm gonna include her in the super bird. Here we go. Maybe if I give her a physic, maybe I can go and heal Stefan. I don't know if he needs healing. I, I know there's a vibrant in front of him. I, I, I think he only has a vulnerary, sadly. Hit points, strength, skills. Wow! Wow! Oh my god. Alright, yeah, no, he definitely needs help. So I'm gonna move him back. And pop a vulnerary. I think Ileana should be able to reach him with a Physic next turn, so this should be fine. Alright, this guy's still in full health, but he won't be after I'm done with the, my Super Bird. Let's go! Woo! Hiya, hiya, bird song! We can do this, guys. Alright, so I guess we'll just have... This guy's still on pretty high health, so he needs to die. Do we'll kind of double this? Wow, okay. I guess I'll use a physical accent. I'll try this. Could... No? What the hell? Okay. Um... Ay ay ay. Okay, what if I reach him with a physic from here? Yes, there we go. He should live another... I don't want to lose Stefan now, because he's gotten some really kick-ass level ups, and I'm actually, like... Very surprised. I didn't think he'd be this good in Clash. Alright, let's, uh... Ooh, Sonic Sword pretty bad. Why is this guy so strong, man? Why is this guy so insanely strong? But I guess I can just surround him. Yeah, I can attack him with Gatry here. I'll get doubled, but you know what? It's fine. 
It's okay. I can deal with it. There we go. Is anyone else... I guess Tor Toronio can finish off with a Fortify. Or I could kill this guy, which might... I'm so worried that I've, like, forgotten someone and they're, like, on one health. So I'm just gonna do this to make sure that that does not happen. Maybe it's a bit paranoid, but it's what I want to do. And we'll keep Alinsha far in the back so that we don't get a game over. Okay, where are they going? Oh, this guy's still around. Oh, you little... <laughs> I knew if I didn't kill him, he would do something annoying. And he did. Alright. Oh, no, he cancelled. Oh, yes, cancel. That's funny. He cancelled me. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Alright. Don't... Is that Khalil? Yeah, that's Khalil. She's a little bit better at fighting. She shouldn't get doubled by everyone here. Oh, they're just... Oh, they're in heal mode. That's what's going on. The bishop's still left on the map. I think if you kill the bishop, they stop doing that, which is nice. Alright, we got this, boys. Alright, let's go. So, uh, I don't think it's safe to keep Ike in Rissol range. He doesn't double even with the god... Oh my god, this is insane. He doesn't double even with the goddamn Rissol bonuses. And I gotta heal him after this, because I'm fairly certain he'll die. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's try and take him down. This guy's insane. That is a sexy axe. Perish. Not even an adept, really? You got 45 skill, dude. You got 45 skill. 45 skill. Alright, let's try the gamble. Oh my god, yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh my god. Oh, uh, 76 cred, but yeah, that's not that's not gonna fly, I'm afraid. But we'll try the vague cod, it could work. He'll take two hits from the urban. Oh. Ah, man. This is scary stuff, man. Hit points, speed, and resistance. Oh, actually, I should have attacked with Marim first. I guess I still have my Javelin, but it's not really the same. Will he double? He won't double Seahark, so this should be fine. Let's go, get him. Perish! Does he say that to everyone who attacks him? I don't actually remember. Hit points, defense. Okay, that might be good. What a scary unit this is. Alright. This is. Oh my god, the bosses are not gonna get any easier. Oh. He will be able to attack us next turn with the Tomahawk. I don't know who he'll go for. It will be one of us. Uh, but I do have a fortify, I think, don't I? Yeah, I do. I do have a fortify. So I can go here and. Oh, wait, where's my fortify? It's on Toronio, isn't it? So I'll do this. You don't need the rescue anymore, I guess. Anyone need Physic? Let's just get Braum up, why not? Man, this is a long episode, but hey, clash in one episode. I didn't think I'd be able to pull that off, but I did. Alright, let's go over here and let's fortify these guys up so they don't die next turn. That would suck. I wouldn't like that. Oh, I need to make sure Ike doesn't get doubled. Uh, no, 27 speed. He is, he is good, ladies and gentlemen. He is good. As far as this guy, he is really annoying me right now. I have to go kill that annoying healer. Just get rid of this guy already. Jesus. There we go. And yeah, I think I'll, uh, hmm, Devdon maybe? I don't know if Devdon can kill him. Yeah, he can do some damage to him, actually. Bishops are, oh, he, oh, nice, he canceled them. That's well, actually one of the few times where cancel has been somewhat viable. That's kind of nice. Uh, all right, another kill for Braum. That's sweet. And a level up for Braum. Let's see what he gets. More skill, I assume. Yep, that's pretty much the only thing he gets. <laughs> And can I? Oh, I can actually kill this guy now. God, this guy lived for way too long. God, this guy lived for way too long. All right, Brave Lands time. Let's go. Mia needs her kills too, guys. I haven't forgotten about her. I promise. It's just she's 
She's falling off a little bit, that's all. Maybe I should start giving him her bonus experience. Hit points, strength, magic, luck, and resistance. Alright. Uh, we still have this guy, he needs to die. Let's, uh, yeah, spare actually works just fine here. There we go. And only a bird left now. I think that's the only guy that is left, actually. I don't even need to super bird now. Yeah, let's go. I hope he doesn't kill me. <laughs> uh, I don't think he will. I don't know who he'll go for. Probably Ronolf. Oh, hi. Forgot about that guy, actually. That was... Oh. Uh-oh. He could have probably killed Alinsha, or maybe. I don't know. Oh! Oh, no. Don't crit me. Don't crit me. Please don't crit me. Ah, shit. Jesus Christ, that is a scary boss. Why is that boss so scary, man? Should I try a gamble on him? That'd be kind of funny. Oh, oh, okay, we got reinforcements. I actually forgot about those guys. <laughs> I didn't know reinforcements came out of the castle. Alright, oh, a Rex Bolt. Well, that's, uh, yeah, that's great. That is just fantastic. Alright, let's, uh, fortify up Ronald. Ah, he actually needs a little more healing if he is to safely go up against the boss. Which is a bit annoying. Uh, should I just, like, uh, rune sword him? No, that won't do shit. Um, hmm, 41 hit. That is quite scary. Okay, I guess we need some more help then. Can I attack this guy? Oh, wow. Okay, no way. No way, I'm not doing that shit. Doesn't Rex Bolt give- oh, boy. Ah, what the hell, man. What the hell, man? Ah, uh, he can't take it. What the hell? Brave Axe, maybe? Yeah, I think a Brave Axe is what we need to do. That is scary, man. Rex Bolt on a freaking uh, Sage. I don't like that one bit. Alright, so I think I'm actually just gonna back off a little bit here with Ronald so he can heal. Yes, I'm, I'm using an Elixir to heal 5 HP. I, I know. Okay, I'll use the Mullig Rail here. I might... Wait, is he retaliating? No, okay. He doesn't have the FE4 ability, I see. Oh, okay. I might just kill him here. Let's go. Oh, okay. He died. <laughs> Release! Let's go! Hit points and luck. This unit right here. Oh, I got the Urban, and he can probably use it too. Yeah, he can. Oh my god, that is crazy. Urban Maraim, boys. Okay, can Alinsha get a kill here? Let's go. Let's have some fun. Uh. I don't know why I do these things. I really can't tell you guys what goes on in my head sometimes. I guess I'm just really dumb. But, uh, yeah. Just try to ignore that, please. I guess I'm just stupid. So oh, that's the guy with the vague cotty. Okay, now we got another vague cotty. Okay, I think the battlefield is like empty now, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, we did it, boys. We did clash in one episode. A little bit of a longer episode today. I guess you guys don't mind, but we did it. We did it. Let's go. Whew. I'm a green unit. Join us tomorrow, guys, as we take on the battle that comes before the Black Knight battle. And the Black Knight battle will be really boring. Because <laughs> it'll just be Ike running away. <laughs> but yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.